Greetings everyone and welcome back to my Sparrow 2 playthrough. Man, it's been a while since I did my last recording. Uh, I, now the thing is, like, uh, I didn't have my internet for a few days, that's why I like there was about two days without any videos for me, but all that is gone. I think there was a problem on my firewall. Anyway, all the problems are fixed now, and now we're going on Autumn Plains. Last time we entered this world, you know, in this world, and we learnt how to climb so that we could go back to Summer Forest and pick up any gems and orbs we missed. So now we have uh, Summer Forest completed about 100%, and we have to start off this place. So, the majority of this video is pretty much going to be me going through this place and getting all the gems and orbs I can, and... The levels in this place like might require a new power up that you will learn in the world after this. So this level, like, uh, all the levels in this place and the hub world itself probably might not be able to be completed 100% uh, until we learn the power up in the next world. So after we've learned that power up, then we'll be able to actually get everything in, in the entire game. So <laughs> I hope that's cleared everything up for you guys. I mean, it sure is a head scratcher for some people, but you know. What? It's a thing nonetheless. Well done, Spyro. The power from your orbs has activated the whirlwind. Oh, well. Thank you, Allura. <laughs> I would have never guessed that myself. Um, so, ah. Oh, legend has it that there is a portal to Zephyr here. And legend also has it that I know how to activate it. Furthermore, as I recall, the legend mentioned something about me activating it for uh, a small fee. Uh, yeah, might as well. Thanks for the gem, Spyro. With all this cash, I can open a lizard burger shop in Skilo's Badlands. <laughs> oh, he's so funny. Oh, he's so Zephyr, you know. Fly away on it, do whatever you will. And I think that's... I actually don't remember that level. I think it's about farm or something. I don't know. And Spyro, why did you not kind of work with the one here? So, down here we have the Speedway level, Metro Speedway. Oh man, it's going to be so much fun, but I don't even remember it myself. And here we have like a little wall of China that we can just run across. And we could glide over there from a higher place to get an orb and a few gems. So, no doubt we're going to be returning here. So, at the moment I'm just going to be running across this empty thing. And at the end there should be a cracked wall which has an orb behind it. And I'm not sure if like, I can view my skill points yet. And uh, yeah, I think here there is a skill point available to defeat Crush without getting hit. So... If I find out that there is, then I'll definitely go back and show you guys how to do it. Or at least cut to the very end when I actually kill him without getting hit. So, you guys don't have to watch through the entire fight again. It sure as hell is not an entertaining fight. I mean, I usually found it really difficult when I was a kid. But, you know, times are changing and everything's so much different. And so, yeah, now we've got some gems down here that we've missed. I try not to collect any gems like last time, just in case, like, I think I would collected all the gems in like, a certain area. And turns out I might have missed one there, but... I keep forgetting that's not really a problem in this game because you can actually like find them using sparks. So yeah, now I could climb up here with the ability to climb and now we're going to carry on climbing really. I think you have to jump straight onto these ones there. The, jump, uh, the jumping mechanic works pretty well so no need to worry there. No bad collision detection. Well a little bit but yeah, it's only occasional. So here we have Scorch which I find is a pretty cool level. It's got a lot of backtracking in it, though. It gets kind of boring after a while, but... Oh, well. It's a level nonetheless. And... This one, I, I really do like Fracture Hill. It's a pretty big level, and there's a bit in it with a very stupid <laughs> mission in it. Oh, uh, Spyro! Hello! I was just having trouble with this door, and I think some orb power might unstick it. I see you've collected a good number of orbs there. Have you tried opening it? Okay, so there we go. That's... I've... Majest majestically open the door by just standing there just by being myself see being yourself gets you far in life uh, Magma Cove uh, like the music in that level is like pretty weird and dynamic but I, I do like it though and the level itself is actually pretty cool to be honest and money bags again no 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 money bags you were just all the way on the other side of the place how did you get here before I me I can let you into the little castle over there in exchange for a few gems what do you say Eh, I say, why not? No one's been through that portal in years. I thought I'd never find a sucker. Uh, I mean, you're a shrewd customer, Spyro. I just realized the, the graphic of his hand is like merged in with the money bag he's holding. <laughs> he surely is money bags. Okay, so... <laughs> I've never realized that before. It's kind of a cheesy joke. So, down here, what do we have? Is that another uh, shady oasis? 
Hmm, I think that's the level those hippos or something like that. I just have the hardest time remembering what Zephyr is. I think I know what that level is. Uh, anyway, uh, what do we have down here? We glide down there. I think this is another speedway. Like, this is the only world in any Spyro game that has two speedway levels in it. So, yeah, this is going to be fun. I would love to let you enter this speedway free of charge, Spyro. Love to. Unfortunately, yeah, right. the speedway rules require me to charge a small fee. It's a bargain! You've chosen wisely. I bet a quick dragon like you will win your money back in no time. Oh, no time, huh? You, you really think it doesn't take any time? Why don't you take the time to grab some gems, you fat sack of... No, I'm not going to finish that sentence. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's Icy Speedway. It's pretty much on the same difficulty level as the other one, so no need to get worried. Um, I think there's some kind of secret around here. I'm not sure, guys. You're probably just shouting at it in the comments, but I can't hear you. Oh well, it looks like I'm just going to have to miss any secret that's there. So this is where the next boss is. It's obviously Gulp, the <laughs> big green dinosaur thingy. And I'm just going to run right into the wall here randomly and... Oh! <laughs> it kind of didn't break there. Anyway, so there, yeah, there you go. It's kind of a well-hidden secret. And to be honest, I've actually missed that a few times, as dumb as it sounds. So, I also think those green gems, like off in the distance, sometimes are orbs. So, yeah, they kind of trick me sometimes, like they done goof me good. And something else I want to mention, if you do come across money bags and you can pay him the amount of gems that you have, then you might as well just go ahead and pay him, because like, it doesn't really like set you back on any gems. And the camera goes really weird here along with the controls. So now we can glide off to that pillar off in the distance, so now we just take a nice skydiving lesson with Spyro, even though he doesn't skydive, if he does he'll probably die. Uh, so what's down here, an orb far off into the distance that you can easily see, so no worries. And 75 gems, jeez. And that's all 400. Ba -ba -da -ba. So, okay, let's just start off with the Zephyr level here, I guess. We can finally find out what the level's actually about. So that's 398 gems, that's kind of a lot of them. Oh yeah, because I, I collected two the last time I was here when I just went, came in to learn to fly. So, yeah, this is that farmy level. Oh, look at that, he's firing a little chicken. But uh, that's actually the good guy in the level, believe it or not. Oh. Oh, oh no. No. <gasps> oh, my God. You just killed him. Oh, <laughs> he just went fat again. Oh, I'd love to have a stomach that just repels bombs. That's so cool. I could do it for a magic trick. So what does this guy have to say? Spyro. Looks like we got us a bit of a situation here. The Breeze Builders have got us pinned down, and we've been waiting for a volunteer to blow up their munitions building. Looks like you're it! <laughs> Munition? You mean ammunition, you little redneck, so... Oh, no! Ah, oh, crap. I knew this was going to happen. Hey, hang on. Okay, I was actually just about to bring this up, like... Oh, oh, God, never mind what you have to say. Um, When I start off this recording for part 8, like, uh, the game froze as I was trying to get to Autumn Plains from Summer Forest, so... I was kind of hoping that, like, it wasn't going to freeze again. And as soon as I thought of mentioning it, the game just froze. And that's, that's kind of freaking. I'm hoping the game doesn't break for me, because then I might not be able to complete this walkthrough, or this playthrough, whatever you want to call it. So, that was kind of a screeching halt for me, yes. Um, kind of my bad luck, I guess. So, here we have, like, birds that we have to destroy. They also, like, give you gems when you kill them, so... And uh, we have to get our hands on some kind of cannon that will come across very soon in the level. But I'm pretty sure, like, if you if you glide close enough to them and, like, uh, flame them, then you can actually get them. So, yeah. Um, actually, you know what? Let me try. So, the birds over here. The birds and the bees. There we go. <laughs> that was actually a pretty good shot, if I say so myself. And this guy just doesn't want to be killed today. Why not, dude? Why not? Alright, so, come on. We are... Bad luck, Jake. Bad luck. Alright, once more. Uh, gonna hover, flame him. Nope. He... Okay, he, he evaded it. But I'm not gonna have that today. Oh, screw it. <laughs> actually, I think you actually do have to get them with your flame on it. I'm not sure. Alright, so he's kind of like badly timed here. Alright, never mind, never mind. <laughs> screw that noise. Um, okay, so now we have to get these little chickens that like fire bombs from their mouths. So that's kind of creepy, to be honest. And I'm not going to get a whole lot of this level done, actually. I'm just going to introduce it to you. But uh, I've still got about eight more minutes left, I guess. So, you never know. Uh, anyway, let's get our hands on this cannon here. That's what uh, Colonel Bob has to say. Just ain't working for me. 
Do you think you can blast that bird, soldier? Jump up here and give it a try! Okay, sure can. So, let's get on this uh, damn cannon here and destroy the bird, destroy the plank of wood behind it. Uh, you can destroy that, obviously. Oh, hey! Oh, you, you kind of have to plan your trajectory though. This isn't Spyro 1 anymore. It doesn't home in on whatever target you want. Um, <laughs> Jake is horrible with shooters. And so, okay, we've got some birds down there that we're kind of killing off in the distance, and there's still some all the way down there that we have to get. And this place down here, does this lead off to a part of the level, or is it like a little side bit? I don't, I don't remember. It just looks like a bunch of gems, to be honest. And it is, okay, so that's good. Uh, I was kind of hoping the level doesn't split into like two paths, because now I'm probably just forget stuff all, all around the place, so let's just get whatever gems we can here. Luckily all the gems just, uh, you know, happen to fall out, like, uh, from over that pillar that we can't reach, so, you know, that's pretty good luck. And we have some gems down here, and there are probably some gems that fell down here as well. Yeah, so five up. That's good. Um, I guess we have to get that bird over here. So, let's time this as well as we can. I guess he's coming around now. Hover, flame, yes, there we go. Oh wait, no gem, oh yeah, the level... Enemies don't give off gems in this game. What was I thinking? I also meant the spirit particles, but oh well, never mind. You guys know what Jake meant in the first place. And now you have these TNT throwing enemies again, just like they were in Spyro 1 from the very final levels of the game. But this time, all they do is throw TNT, and they actually got to hit me, so I'm kind of proud, but then again, discouraged. So I'm not too happy with that. Um. Okay, so it's just a little hallway, and a little bird that's chasing a caterpillar, which we're going to kill anyway, so Sparrow is indeed the bigger fish in this situation. And so we have a little bird here, and without the ammunition, all they can do is actually kind of like pitch smack you, so uh, make sure you don't get hit by them. And hey, hey, what's going on? Hey, I don't like this guy anymore. Go away, fat Bob. I don't like you anymore. Um, okay, I'm going to try and get everything on the top level here first. Uh, before I start going to the bottom level of this area. Because I don't want to like, yeah, start missing out on stuff. So, I guess you all know Jake's plan for this current game. And so we have this guy here. I, oh yeah, I don't think you actually have to kill all the enemies in this level. Because there are no, like, uh, those portals that need spirit particles. So, yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm not too keen on defeating all the enemies in this level. It's not... Oh wait, no, there is a power-up that you get here. Yes, yes there is, okay, I remember what you do with it, it's pretty funny and abusive to animals as well, so... Uh, it's probably going to have to wait till the next part. Actually, yeah, it is going to have to wait till the next part. Yeah, we're just going to get to the end of the level here, which is actually, like, pretty soon, but... There's, trust me, there's a lot to do in this level that actually doesn't have anything to do with the main mission. This is a pretty huge level, and... What do we have here? We have a chest here that we have to destroy the cannon. So, Jake's bad aiming skills are... At it again, and then we have these birds to destroy. So, I'm pretty sure if we keep firing off in the same area, they're just eventually going to hit those uh, cannons or the bolts or whatever you want to call them. So, that's one, and come on, second guy. Ah, uh, you missed. He dodged it. What an asshole. So, I'm just going to sit here and tap circle. There we go. And now you want to destroy this, and you want to let two go in there so that you actually like the TNT. Actually, no, you don't. Whoa! And how did that guy inside survive? I tell you, these uh, hackers are just uh, getting on my nerves. And, yeah, that's all the gems that came out of that chest. And now we can just go on here, so we have to glide. And let's see what this guy has to say. So this is the end of the level, we just want to get the talisman, so let's just see what he has wow, to say. what an explosion! It sure is a good thing I had my helmet on. Oh yeah, uh, the colonel wanted me to give this talisman to you if you got through the breeze builder defenses. Good job, soldier! Aye aye, Sarge. Oh, or Colonel, whatever you want to call him. Colonel. So it's just a red bomb, so that's actually pretty cool. It looks like a gem. And that's all we're going to fit in for this part. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.